Hey everybody, Asher here with a new game, new series, Stardew Valley, a game that is very similar but a very modern rendition of Harvest Moon or other farming style games. It's a lot of fun. I've been playing this weekend. I did try and stream it a few times. Unfortunately, technical issues and other things got in the way. So I apologize for any of you that tried to join in and the quality wasn't up to snuff. But we're going to be starting a new game here today. Now, Stardew Valley is a game that I've been having my eye on for a while, me and a lot of people, I'm sure. It was one that was kind of announced around, kind of in the periphery when Starbound was first introduced, talked about. Uh, and that was around three years ago, too. So this has been developed by one person, Concerned Ape, and he's been doing a lot of work both on this game throughout uh, post-release. But he actually, no early access or anything, just straight up released it. It's like, here you go, guys, here's a game. So it was one of those things where I knew once it came out, it would be an instant buy. And that's exactly what I did. I've enjoyed what i played so far. But we're going to go ahead, like I said, dive into a new playthrough of it. Now, the volume here is going to change a little bit, because unfortunately, the way this game is set up right now, you can't actually... I'm going to go and turn off the music just for the moment here. Uh, you can't actually go through... Oh, no, I'll leave it on, whatever. Uh, I can just adjust this post-production. Uh, but anyway, you can only save your settings and things like that after you start a game, and there are volume tweaks that I always do in settings. So we'll save that here. Now I've been doing a playthrough of kind of someone that's kind of resembling me a little bit. So we'll do a, a female character. And there's a lot of customization options. You can choose between a dog or a cat. You can do all kinds of skin tones here, including some that are kind of otherworldly. But considering it's not quite that kind of game as far as I can tell. We'll uh, stick with something that's a little plainer, I guess. I, or I could go like as a gray person. It doesn't seem to be a great idea here. But there's all kinds of things that you can customize and adjust here to give like ghostly cataract eyes or whatever. But no great reason to do that. Do all kinds of just silly hair color things because it is a video game once again. So that is always an option. Like give self gray hair and everything, but I don't think that's gonna be totally necessary. But yeah, well uh let's see we'll name this person Fiona. I guess we'll call it the Asher Farm since technically this channel. But what's favorite thing here? Now there's, uh, this reminds me of Earthbound to a point because uh, there's like, there's an option or question in Earthbound early on. So you have no idea what I'm talking about. Or it's like, hey, what's your favorite thing? And if you type like poop, huge story, things will come up later. And yeah, poop will just be in your game forever and ever. So I could do something like smiles, but that feels like a little just puke. You could do puke, but that feels a little gross. I guess I could just do, uh, I don't know, favorite, favorite thing. It could be a food, it could be, uh, uh, love, barf. I don't know what a good favorite thing is, so we'll just, I could say nothing. That'd be like super emo. We'll come back to it in a minute. But we do have, like, lots of options here. I mean, we have, uh, I think I saw... Yeah, like, we'll just do that to the side view here. Like, we'll lay a buns or something, but that's not great. We'll do crazy anime hair like that. And I said, it's impressive that this was all developed just by one person. He did music, sound, everything. I think we'll do pigtails, because that's fairly simple here. I think we'll darken the eyes just so that's not dark. And then shirts. There are lots of clothing options. Could do like a skull shirt, but that doesn't seem very necessary. You're gonna hear my mouse tip tapping along the lines, but you can't. Once you you can change your clothing and stuff later on. At least if it comes down to it. But for now, I think we'll do that. And then there's all kinds of accessories you can get. You can get a beard or something. You can put on all kinds of glasses or shit. Or lipstick, or I guess a gold, or duck bill. That'd be hilarious. But I think we're gonna do just plain old nothing. And then, what kind of pants? Blue's okay with purple. Okay, we could do like. I think that's okay. I think that's pretty good. Favorite thing? Are we really gonna go with nothing? Or are we just going to go with coffee? Coffee's good, even though there's an item in the game called coffee. 
We'll just do that anyway. Because coffee's good. Every Who doesn't like that in some way, shape, or form? Someone's going to chime and say, I don't like coffee. Well, you need to figure it out. <laughs> so we're going to hear the uh, introduction. And uh, it, is, there, it isn't like a Harvest Moon style introduction that hand holds you through everything. Instead, it's something that gives you a little bit of a kind of backstory, which I think is important because there are lots of little stories to dive into with this game. It's like a bunch of little stories tied into a nice package. It's, it's a pretty relaxing experience. Let's go ahead and hit the OK button and get started. There's Grandpa by the fire. Don't know why his bed's there, but and for my very special granddaughter. And I can't speed up this text. So that's exciting. I want to give you this sealed envelope. Yay. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Oh, that feels familiar. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. When that happens. Oh, that's... That's sage advice and a little bit too close to home, I guess. But you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. What happens to Grandpa XX years later? I guess we know what happens to Grandpa. There's no other reason you put a bed. Oh! Jojo, join us. Thrive. Look, there's a work light and a rest light. Does this all look familiar to you? I like the overseers up there. There's there's everyone thriving. Thriving with the headband. Thriving with the terminated sign. Everyone has a camera over their head. There's Woody from Toy Story licking his lips all the time. I don't know why. There's someone else thriving. There's someone that's a little bit familiar. There's someone else thriving. There's a skeleton thriving on the right. That's great. Okay. Uh... Look at this. Look at this wonderful life that you're living. At a giant computer terminal that's bigger than you. And, uh, let's see. Got options available. I can open the temp. I can't open the temp folder. I can't do anything with the mouse. Guess it's the envelope. Dear Fiona, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Asher Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. That is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. P.S. If Lou's still alive, say hi to that old guy for me, will you? So look, it's like, what obligations, what connections do you have working for Jojo? Or just run away from it all and become a farmer out in the country on a bus. With some nice countryside out there, so that's, uh, I mean, that's, I've known people that have just dropped everything and done this. It's a little harder when you, uh, keep having stuff going, but, or when you have all these connections and things that bind you in one area. But, yep, there's uh, something to be said about just dropping everything and going to somewhere else, and that's kind of the premise for this game. So we'll get to start meeting some people in town here right about now. I do like that the developer, and there's just one, don't forget did include a skip button if you ever just want to skip all of this stuff here. So, Hello, you must be Fiona. Look, it's Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right there now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. So, here we go. Happy days. Just a nice... This looks not unlike my yard. Hello, this is Asher Farm. Yay! Look at, look at, do you want to go back to your cubicle now? What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have a clean up in no time. That's very optimistic. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer says, Mayor Lewis. Hello, person who's still alive, apparently. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Keep in mind that the region's called Stardew Valley, but this place the word now is called Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Yes, yeah, small towns are great like that. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Aw. Oh, 
Here's the house. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. And you, This is like a Harvest Moon style game, so you will get little emotes like that up above people. Don't listen to her, Fiona. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, so little things that you can get little clues right there. Whatever. So you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. So we do have a few tasks that we will get on, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Oh, no, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box. You'll come by during the night to collect it. Good luck. And everyone just walks away. And the rooster crows, and we have our first saving. Cool. All right, so it's the first day on the farm. And time does move while you're inside, but not while you have things here. So one of our first tasks is to meet all 28 people in the town. 28 doesn't sound like a lot, but you do have to dive in here. Now, if you, <coughs> I'm going to go over a few things real quick. First off, I'll have to fix this in post-production, but I always like lower the music and sound volumes just because of how I record. So I, hopefully this isn't too jarring for some of you who are watching here later. Some things that you may want to know, though, are if you are playing this game, please click the auto run on. For some reason that stays on, or maybe there's a patch that automatically turns it on. There's also a always show hit location, but I'm not going to have that on right now, although that is useful for if you're not sure how to aim your tools. Now there's a lot of things to do in the menu here. You start with a bunch of tools and a watering can, which is pretty cool, and 500 gold to your name, so this that's literally dropping everything and going from the city here. So there's lots of things you can level, like farming, mining, foraging, fishing, and combat! There's a little bit of room factor thrown here. There's social. There's all kinds of people and faces that you can meet. We know who Lewis is, and we can give him gifts and raise our relationship with him. There's Robin as well, the same. But lots of people that we don't know, including person in cowboy hats, person with a silly hat, uh, other things like that. We'll get to, we'll get to those people. Uh, a few things to know, though, before we get started. There is a map of the town. Not everything is unlocked from the start. So we do know that there's, like, question marks here, but there's mines. Everything's done kind of on a clock, and if you've played anything, any of these games, you're familiar with that. So people will go around certain times a day. I guess we know where some people are just because of uh, what Grandpa left here, but he hasn't been alive for XX years. But just good things to kind of look around here. There's there's a whole collection aspect. There's actually two whole collection aspects. This is part of it. And there is crafting as well, which is very important for resources. One of the first things we want to build is a chest, just so we can store items in it, because right now our inventory is very small. It's just this first row. That can be changed too, but let's look around. We have the house, fireplace, yay, it works. Decorative bowl, which we can apparently place right back here. Box, parsnip seeds, that's good. You receive 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Thanks, Mayor. So getting started, if you have to be, if you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use seed packed to till the soil to sow the crop water it every day until the crop is ready for harvest. So we'll get to that. Now, if you have played these games before, you are familiar with like what's on television, the weather report. Welcome to KOZB5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. Now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. Yay! Fortune teller. Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. Spirits of good humor day. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Luck doesn't really matter for what we'll be doing, at least in this video, but it'll matter later. Living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again. I like that farm with a cup of coffee just sitting there. With another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for you, greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search a wild forge to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. So little bits of information every day. But let's go outside and hopefully I don't have the recording errors I had last time that's forcing me to do this again. Oh good, outside. Here we are. Now there's lots of things that we can do. I think probably the best place to get started is at the beginning and just cut some things up. You can see we have little trees growing. We got grasses. It's nice that you have a scythe and you can use this as a weapon in a pinch. Not that we have to attack anything right now. I want to clear my way to the watering hole. That's actually very important. We do have a mining pick, and yes, there is mining in this game, but it's not like Minecraft or anything, or Terraria or anything. There's axes to chop wood. All I want to do is to clear a 15 by 15 area. Now, if you have played Harvest Moon or something like that, you are 
familiar with oddities. Well, let's see. First off, I do have a quest to meet people in town, but note the time. It's 740 right now, so not really a great time to go around and meet people. We do have some time to farm, even in like festival days. You do have time to work on your farm a little bit, so that's exactly what we're doing. It does not appear that we're having the same problems that I had recording before, so that's good. That's all very good. So we're going to plant some parsnips, and that will uh, give us the time we need to go around the rest of the town here. So, take your hoe. We're just going to make five here, and then we'll put another row. It's like, hey, did you? this is what you signed up for when you decided to leave your life at uh, Jojo, which don't worry, they're still relevant. They'll be relevant, so... We can plant little seeds just like this. And then we have our watering can, which you can't upgrade to water more than one square at a time, but at least for where we're at right now in the game, it's one square at a time. But that's not so bad. So look, we have something resembling a farm. You can go up here, click and refill. Yay! So we have nothing, well, I guess we could put some sap in the box, just to show what that does. I'm going to hold on to wood. I do want to get plenty of wood. I can put fiber in here too, I don't have a ton of use for that just yet. But you know what, let's hit the town. So you're going to see some things right away. This is actually a pretty good start here. We do have a leak that we can get, daffodils, there's little weeds that grow around everywhere. And you're going to see me hold on to... A lot of stuff that may not make sense why just yet just know that a little ways into the game there is kind of a collect certain items throughout the game and you turn it in for rewards oh I didn't even go into the fact that there's an energy meter down here uh, now these foods and stuff do refill energy and everything let's go to the question mark though but I'll just pause real quick that energy meter is vital if you run out of energy you move really really slow note that these items I'll say they restore health that's not relevant just yet Here's a calendar. There's only 28 days in the month, or in the season. So we'll get through here. Different people have birthdays, and you can do good things for that. Uh, we don't know these people yet, but we kind of know what they look like. And then we have uh, no help wanted post here today, so let's talk over here. So this is Pierre's. He sells things. I'm getting slicer and saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. And does that count as meeting somebody? Yes, it does. So, hello you. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me he just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hi, Marnie. And any time, there's sometimes you can get more than one conversation, sometimes you can't. I sell livestock and animal care products in the animal ranch. You should swing by sometime. So, it's very nice. Now, I can shop at the store over here, and in fact, I am going to be buying a few things. Excuse me. I'm going to be buying a few things. In fact, let's see here. I could buy some, I could buy some beans. They take 10 to harvest. 10 days to harvest. We kind of want to do that. So we'll get two harvests of beans or so. Or we'll get a few harvests of beans. There's lots of things you can buy. Some stuff that's not as relevant till later, but at least early on. We're going to need to be growing a little bit of everything. But let's start with uh, we'll start with some potato seeds. We'll just get a nine pack. Leaves us 50 money for something else. And since I bought some stuff here, let's talk. Hello, and you can go behind counters and talk to almost everybody. There's like two exceptions. To that. Hi, it's Miss Fiona, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is place to go. I'll also buy produce from you at a good price. It's actually the same price as all the time. A little agriculture you really inject new life into the local economy. Your local economy. If we go back here, uh, we're going to meet somebody else here. Let's see. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, that's nice. So that's Abigail. One little thing to keep the social aspect real quick. You'll see that she's labeled as single. Not everybody is single. In fact, the people you originally meet, not single. I've already seen a few things lamenting on Reddit that Robin is not available. But like Harvest Moon, there is courtship that you can do. Unlike Harvest Moon, this game does allow for uh, same-sex partnerships, which is nice. I'm expecting in two weeks to see like internet outcry about this game being corrupting of people, especially since same-sex partners are allowed to adopt in this game. Oh, how, how scandalous. All right, 
So we're going to keep exploring. So we got somebody going into the uh, saloon. That was the person that we met in the store. It's not open yet because that's not open until later. Now there's other places we can go. Here's dude with a football. Hey, you're a new girl, huh? I think we're going along just great. I'm Alex. I'll see you around. And we can go into this house. Can we talk to some people? Yeah, here's an old couple. Harmph, it's irritating. You have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. No, buzz off. Because hmm, he's watching TV. Uh, well, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Hi, Evelyn. I'll just call you Evelyn. And uh, he's obviously watching things. I love that the TV is just in the middle of the floor and he's all the way back here. All right. What else do we got around here? Like I said, I just want to try and explore some of the basic areas. Hi. So, oh, did you want something? So does that count as meeting somebody? Yeah, I think we, uh, we're up to 10 people now, which is pretty good. Now you can't go in the houses all the time. You can't actually rummage and trash and stuff. But you don't always want to do that. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love living here in Pelican Town. If you're looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Hi, Emily. Nice to meet you. Actually knew someone growing up who had blue hair and was named Emily, but didn't quite look like that. All right. So we got people here. There's a kid. Is he playing with a knife on the floor? Oh, stranger. My name's Nurse. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. That's nice. And there's uh, the mama, I guess. Oh, you're exactly how I imagine. That's okay. Oh, you are exactly how I imagine. That's okay. I'm Jody. So anything else other than I'm not who you thought I was? It's quite a little town, so it's very exciting that someone who is and having a farm around can really change things. You're right about that. Okay. So we've already met you, and you'll see there's if there's no pop up here, there's no option to talk to me. It's only one o'clock, though, so we're making a fairly good time. I don't expect to meet everybody in one day. In fact, I should probably try and forage a little bit other than daffodils and stuff. We're going to keep one of everything. And I do need to plant the potatoes that I bought at night here. So here's the coast. There's someone else to meet. He's going to walk away. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, hello. Elliot. Now another thing you want some wood for here is that if 300 pieces of wood you can fix this bridge. That bridge is pretty important for later. Now what's something that we have a lot of? Because I'd like to hold on to some of these things just to sell. Uh, we don't really need... Stone's gonna be really easy to come by, so we can trash that. So there's an oyster. Uh, I don't want to get rid of too much of this other stuff, so we'll uh... That shell's probably worth more than this, though, so... Okay, we, we just watered it, apparently. Alright. That's fun. Okay, anything in the fishing place? I'll be back tomorrow. Alright. Nothing in the fishing place. Nice barrel of sea sludge next day. Yeah, just happily walking around the town. Note that running around the town does not expend energy, which is pretty nice. But you do want to try and meet everybody, which means let's go to the library slash museum. We'll get that what's outside in a minute because it will persist there. This is one of the people we can't go behind and talk to, but I can still talk to him like this. So there's Gunther. This is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts in display. I hope they remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts and minerals out there, let me know. Cool. All right. So we got more noises up here, which is pretty fun. Now, once again, we can buy from him. We can buy ore, which is a really bad deal. We can upgrade tools, which you don't have the money to yet, or you can just walk around and talk to him. Er, hi, I'm Clint. Hi, Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you need anything, I'm your guy. Cool. And we can't steal from people's houses, but we, <laughs> we can inspect a few things. So what else is here? There's a trailer down by the river. Which is very exciting, and oh, what's this? Joja Mart! It never escapes. You can never, ever, ever escape. Alright, so we got somebody working here. All these cool things that we can buy, I just don't have any money for because I stupidly bought seeds instead. Alright. Hey kid, name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Cool! 
All right, so we have... Is this like the number one employer in town? Sam's on the clock. Better not get him in trouble. Okay, so there's Sam, who I can't meet. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. And do you know who I am? Because I know who you are. Welcome to Jojo Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe you met. I'm Morris, the Jojo customer satisfaction representative. When you decide you want to become a member, hopefully I'll be to help you transition to a joyous experience. Yes! <coughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Did I just cough, sneeze? Hack a bunch of, bunch of stuff. I don't think I want to. You can never run away from this. It's like the nice Walmart equivalent. It's always there. It's always in hot pursuit. Alright. I don't think there's any great reason that I ran up here other than just trying to play off a surprise cough. But yeah, as time goes on, the day keeps going. And not everybody's in town. I actually have not looked at the map at all uh, since I got out here. So, like, you can see where different people live. It's a little creepy to think about a map that has the names of where everybody lives, but it's pretty useful information. Uh, there's some places that we can't quite get. Oh, there's a wizard tower. Yay. There's, we can get to most everywhere in this area. There's a few places that are blocked off, though. We can see the afternoon sun's coming in. So it's going to be time to head back and uh, keep that farming stuff here soon. Here's the community center. That's going to be important for later. It's the reason that I'm holding on to some of these items that I picked up, like leeks and daffodils. And there's a playground that we can't actually play on. So that's all very exciting. A good scythe over here, probably. We can't pick up any of this, so... Sorry, guys, I just messed up your area. So if we go all the way up here... I'll just take a quick walk up here, because it's easier to loop back around to uh, home by the time I'm all the way up here. Although we're not exactly going home first. Let's hear more places. Here's uh, Robin, who we've already met. Hello, have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Well, you told me to do it. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, the local scientist and father. Local scientist, well, local father. Okay, thanks for introducing yourself. I'm saying the local plants and animals in my laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Mara? She's interested to meet you. Okay. Well, is she home? Uh, I love that I just... its You can't walk into everybody's home like this, but it's nice that I can just pop in here a little bit. There's uh, someone else that I can't get to. Not Can't go into Shabbat, Sebastian's basement. Maybe that can change. And this is locked. Alright, so who else do we got in town that we can see? We got locked up way up here. Oh yeah, we got dude that lives in a tent up here by the mountains. Ah, stranger, hello. Don't mind me, just live out here alone. So that's pretty... That's all well and good. What else? Can't go over here yet, because that's just attached. I'd love to be able to hit it with the pickaxe, so that's actually not going to do anything. So before we plant other things, there's a, another leak, which is good. They're just staring off into the distance. Oh, hello, person that I'd like to introduce myself to. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Oh, he's emo in a hoodie. Out of all the places you could live, you choose Pelican Town? Yep. Well, when there's free house, free land, and endless opportunities. It's it's funny. It's like all the people that live in the city want to go back into the country. All the people that are in the country want to live back in the city. What is... Is there a happy medium? Here's another person. And like I said, I've played this a bit, so I know who everyone is. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? That's Mario. I'm Mario. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Yay! Happy times. You know, a small town like this, a new face can really up to the community dynamic. It's exciting. That's a really awkward thing to say to someone that you've just met. Like, you could change everything! It's like, well, thank you, I guess. Uh, can we get into the trailer down by the river? Uh, okay, so you're not good enough friends with Penny to go in here. Wasn't expecting Penny to be the one that lives in the trailer down by the river, but there we go. The saloon. Here's the House of Sin from that time. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. He's hard at work. I don't know why you're... Oh, see, this is that's funny. It's like, you're not at work. You're here. Why are you talking to me? There's Shane. So, hi, Shane. 
there's other things that we can do. There's this thing that I've never been able to figure out how to get, but I'm sure it's pretty easy and obvious how to get it. So people will mill around and come in here and go out. I think I've met pretty much everybody that's in here right now. Yeah, I'd buy a drink if I could afford it, so she just stands there and she drinks. She drinks a lot. Alright, so now it's night time. There's still some people that'll be around sometimes, but most events only occur during the day. So how many people did we meet? 22 or 28, not bad. Just a few still stick around, but it won't take too long. Most of the problems I had before from meeting people were because I didn't realize you could go behind counters and talk to people, because all the shopkeepers count. And we can do an inventory of uh, people here in just a moment. First thing I want to do is go ahead and plant. So let's just make a uh, nine block of... Uh, there we go. Not the neatest farm, but it's our farm, right? I believe it doesn't matter what time you plant, as long as it's during the day it counts. And if you played Harvest Moon, you may freak out about this. I think I already said it. I'm not sure. Like I said, I didn't have to stop and restart recording for this. But uh, you can walk through crops, so that's good to know. It's about 10. There's really nothing else that's going to be done out and about. Uh, so I do need to get 50 wood. So that's going to be a thing. And I do want to keep on the, some of the weeds that I've found so far. You'll see why later on, but that is a day in Stardew Valley if we look at the news and everything again. It's going to be the exact same as before. Tomorrow's forecast, beautiful sunny day, but let's go ahead, tuck into bed. Good night, Fiona. And we got some money. 116. It's not a lot, but it's more than we had. And it saves after every day, but I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. We'll keep going here next time. One of the things that I really like about this game is that there's always something to do. There's always goals that you can kind of go for. But you know what? We're at least just getting started. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This is Asher. If you want to see more uh, of this content, feel free to subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. It does help out. But anyway, just good to hear from you. Thanks for uh, watching, and we'll do this again soon. Take care.